Alright, so another new feature of Pokemon Fire Red is anytime you quit the game and come back, it'll actually show you the things you last did before you saved and quit, which is honestly really nice. It's always a good feature. I was going to say, real talk, every RPG should have this by default. Yep. I'm kind of disappointed the other Pokemon games don't, honestly. I don't know if it needs to be quite this involved, but like... At any given time, you need to be able to remind yourself what you were doing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, ideally, it would all just be like Sonic Adventure, where the character's just like, Hi, I'm this person. This is what I did yesterday. <laughs> that is the best version of that. And so we finish in Pewter City. But that's where we're picking up. So, today, we're going to be going a right ways. But before we get to the next route, we're going to be getting a very important item, because instead of the NPC that was here before, we have this guy. So here's one of Professor Oak's aides. Uh, he wasn't in the original game, because he gives you the running shoes. Finally. God, I do not know why they don't give you the running shoes immediately. I get they weren't the original, but I don't need an explanation as to why they're here in the remake. So yeah, basically, we can just hold down the B button and we'll go fast when we're on foot now. We can't use them everywhere, but like, check this out. Look at us go. That's optimal movement speed. Hooray. <laughs> Deja vu. <laughs> I've been in this place before. I mean, I feel like you looked at me because I wasn't looking at anything but speed. Alright, so Janice, she's got a Pidgey. Turns out, level 3 Pikachu doesn't have a lot of HP! Yeah, maybe not actually capable of taking on a level 9 Pidgey. Yeah, so we're gonna... I, I do really want to give Heyu experience as soon as possible, for reasons. But, uh... It's a little bit of a struggle, admittedly, especially since I don't really do grinding off-screen. Like, the one between the first few episodes is, like, one of the few times I will grind at all. Because grinding's not that fun in Pokemon. At least early on. Mm -hmm. Not until Pokemon Let's Go. Yeah, then that's just the point. Yeah, where you have to catch a hundred Taurus. Ah, uh, be like Ash, catch all the Taurus. I'm not joking, that's actually, like, the most fun I've had grinding in Pokemon, is catching a thousand Pokemon. Yep. Of course. The other thing is, Let's Go doesn't really use standard battles for wild Pokemon, so mm -hmm. you don't just have to do, well, more or less this. Right. And you also get a bunch of stat candy from catching Pokemon, so you can just boost the stats without leveling them up. Yep. It's just good. Incentive's nice. It took them, like, eight, nine generations, but they finally figured it out. <laughs> Look, lady, I, I just wanted to run, and you stopped me to fight. Also, this character doesn't quite work because he says he saw you in Viridian Forest, but uh, he's he doesn't have the same name as anybody who appeared there. Whereas in Gen 1, you know, they were all just bug catchers, so theoretically... We could have fought him. Instead, I guess he was just, like, hiding in some bushes. Was the first character we ran into a bug catcher? Because I don't think we fought him. Ah, tail whip. That's... yep. You finally learned how to wag your tail. Hey, you. You did it. Alright, so, uh, took a while for Hey you to take care of one bug, and... Oh no. Oh no, Poison Sting. Oh no, Poison Sting! I can't believe this Weedle has taken out a pretty good portion of my team. I mean, I guess I could keep using Spearmint, but eh. Alright. Hey, you exist in this battle for a moment. I still need you to get experience. <laughs> I did it. It worked. That wasn't my best idea, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Hey, you still up? 
What does that look like to the bug catcher? <laughs> just, let's go, Pikachu! Pika! Pikachu okay, come just back. slams face first into the floor. <laughs> no, that's that's a lot better. Just, Pika <laughs> Just holds her <laughs> hand up like, I got this, put me in, coach! <laughs> I am an inch away from death. Just like the song foretold, headstrong, I'll take you on. And then I'll switch you in for my turtle, who will blow bubbles at your bug. Sad song goes, right? Oh yeah. Uh, they don't they don't uh, play that cut on the radio very often. And that's a really good level. Good job, hey you. <laughs> I'm going to have to immediately cram a potion into your mouth after we get out of the battle, or you die in one step. Okay, yeah, he said you beat me again, so definitely, no, well, <laughs> not, not canon. There goes my plan, my theory, shut down. Alright, so here's this trainer. Oh, it's the guy. I like shorts. They're delightfully comfy and easy to wear. Now, to battle! Not quite the most famous youngster, because I don't think anyone knows him by name, but, you know, it, it's been... He, he likes shorts. That's his thing. Ah, Ekans! That's a new Pokémon. And uh, Ekans is actually going to be pretty tough for my party at the moment. Because Ekans is another poison type. And we didn't get a Butterfree. Yep. So, uh, yeah, um, hey you. Uh, I have no confidence in you at the moment, so... Turtle Misu's got, like, the best shot, because, you know, it's got special attack. So, Rap will do a tiny bit of damage every turn. It's not something you really need to be that concerned about on its own, but now we've been poisoned as well. So we're going to be damaged by poison, and also because Rap isn't like a status problem in of itself, it doesn't appear there, can still do damage and exist alongside the poison. So this sucks. And next turn it uses Leech Seed. <laughs> How do you even have those Ekans? Uh, also, I forget, does Rap prevent you from escaping? I think it might. I think it did in at least one generation. Yeah, there are a couple moves that you prevent you from actually uh, escaping if they go off. And looks like Rap is one of them. So anyway, now that, now that uh, Turtle Misu is no longer wrapped, we can send Spearmint in to also have bad luck against this terrifying Ekans. <laughs> Thankfully, Spearmint is very strong. Thank you. No! My shorts! They lost! My god, it's the anti-Naruto. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, it's a shame you don't talk about your shorts more, because everybody loves it when you do that. So we're just going to move on. Ah, this guy has no patience. Alright, bug catcher Greg. <laughs> this child is definitely a nerd. Time for my four Weedles to ruin your day. Hey, you can live through a whole battle on her own. You did it, hey you. Oh, Thunder Wave! Thunder Wave's a really good move for catching Pokémon, because it only paralyzes the opponent. Mm -hmm. But unlike Thundershock, where, you know, that's a small percentage, as long as Thunder Wave hits and the uh, Pokémon isn't immune to it somehow, it, it's just gonna paralyze him. That actually faked me out in Pokémon Let's Go. I had Pikachu with the Thunder Wave for a long time before I realized I don't need to catch Pokémon this way. <laughs> oh yeah, that would be pretty useless like that. Paralysis is a, is a useful status effect, but very rarely do I need Paralysis. It's more like, it's nice when it procs. Pretty much, yeah. Anyway, here's this battle that's not gonna go well for this Kakuna, cause, hey, Thundershock, special. There goes one Kakuna, and you're probably gonna have either a Kakuna or a Metapod, because that's usually how these things work. 
Yep, it's a metapod, so second verse, same as the first. Or first, same as the third, whatever. Greg sends out Scyther. <laughs> I'm breaking the meta. For you see, I, uh, this game is way too easy, so I figured I'd make it hard. Me, Greg. I <laughs> uh, bet one of the people who worked on Pokemon Uranium is named Greg. Alright, so this is Pokemon uh, Murder version. Uh, it's, it's not for casuals. It's really tough. Uh, all the Pokemon are just max level. Uh, except you, you can't actually max level your Pokemon ever. Your Pokemon's just stuck at level 1, and you have to fight uh, trainers with legendaries. They all have legendaries. Anyway, here's Naranberry. Uh, berries are items that you can have Pokemon hold, and if certain conditions are met, then the Pokemon will automatically use them. Uh, the Oran Berry, I believe, is just a uh, healing berry, and the Pokemon will use it when it gets low on health. They can also be used as sta standard items if you want. I don't usually use uh, berries just because I like other held items. Because there are some good ones. The Spearow is just yelling at hey, you. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Quit it! Oh god, why isn't that lightning any less painful? It's just heckling, hey you. Yep, you sure did. <laughs> that's lost, that's lost. He just makes you go through 20 text boxes of that, and there's an extra lost in every line. Ah, so we're back to the creepy pasta then. Yeah, we're. <laughs> this is my contribution. I'm just inserting Pokemon creepy pastas. What you described, Pokemon Murder version. There is a creepy pasta that could be accurately called Pokemon Murder version. Uh, so anyway, in this game for children, <laughs> uh, we just took out a rat and hey, we got a Nidoran. Uh, so another thing that later generations added that Generation One didn't have is uh, Pokemon genders. Uh, you'll have noticed by now that each Pokemon has gender, but with Nidoran, it's actually part of their name. Because back then, having a specifically gendered Pokemon was like, their thing? And now they're still technically different Pokemon. So what sort of animal is Nidoran supposed to be? Like a rabbit? Um, you know, I forget. I guess I can just look it up. What are you based on? Let's see... Ba -da -ba -da. Hamsters, rabbits, mice... Okay, so yeah, just uh, that kind of mammal. But then they just become like people in costumes. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's also worth noting that uh, Nidoran has the move Poison Point, which is kind of like Static, but with Poison instead of par Paralysis. So, uh, yeah, uh, don't don't touch it. That's why Blue Bubbles at it the entire time. So anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure James didn't actually just catch these. They're slightly stronger than I would expect a Caterpie to be. Not by much, but you know. <laughs> I love the spicy ladies. <laughs> <laughs> their their movies, Spicy Earth. <laughs> Their number one hit song, I Want To Be. <laughs> uh, so anyway, we got Quick Attack, which is a uh, move with increased priority. Quick Attack is like weirdly useless because the only Pokemon that learn it are naturally quick anyways. <laughs> yeah. Like, there are more useful moves that like always move first or something like that. So like, it's not as good as those. It's... Like, I guess it's good against other fast Pokémon, providing they don't also have Quick Attack. Because two Quick Attacks is just, you know, neutral. Yeah, and like, if you're using a Rattata, then it's uh, a stab move that's stronger than Tackle. Yeah. So it has its uses in the early game, but you're going to be replacing that with Hyper Fang at some point. Yep.
Alright, so this last right here has a new Pokemon. It's Jigglypuff. It's not a person in a Jigglypuff costume this time. It's the real thing. Probably. Anyway, so I'm going to kick it. Uh, oh, it tried to use Disable. Uh, Disable will render you unable to use the last move that you used for a few turns, so it's pretty good. Unless you use it before the enemy actually attacks, in which case you wasted a turn. But it's decent strategically, so uh, it's, it's not half bad if you ever find a Pokemon with it. It's a decent one to keep around if you want. I almost shouted, why are you sending out Mankey? Because I forgot that fairy types don't exist yet. Yep. It's a little bit early for that. It's a bit of a shame that it is, but you know. Don't have anything to worry about just yet. Alright, so a few new Pokemon to get around here. First one is Nidoran Male. So, uh, this is one of the rats with a Fire Red Leaf Green difference. Uh, not a version exclusive, but Nidoran here is easier to catch in Fire Red. Uh, there's a 14% uh, encounter rate with Nidoran Male. Uh, same for Nidoran Female and Leaf Green. And, of course, the other way around is 1%. So, 1% to find Nidoran Male and Leaf Green, and 1% to find Nidoran Female in this version of the game. Oof, uh... <laughs> and guess which one I prefer. Oof -a -doof. <laughs> Their difference is basically a uh, Nidoran male is more attack focused, uh, female is more defense focused, and I happen to think that defense focus is actually pretty good for Nidoran. It's my personal preference, but yeah, took me a while to actually get Nidoran female. So, for the time being, we're just going to walk back and forth through here until we find Jigglypuff. We can get one of our own. Jigglypuff, of course, as we uh, learned earlier on, is relatively well known for the Sing ability displayed right here, which puts Pokemon to sleep. And that takes care of that. Got a Jigglypuff. <laughs> what does it do with somebody after that? Devours them. Messily. Jigglypuff are vicious. <laughs> I noticed you trying to figure out if you would have enough space for the full word. <laughs> and as it turns out, I did not. Alright, and of course, lastly, we got Nidoran Female. Alright, let's go catch us an actual party member. Now, I would suggest catching a lot of Pokémon for reasons of your Pokédex numbers actually do uh, have an effect on certain things and things you can get. So even if I weren't actually going to use Nidoran Female, uh, I would want to catch her, just to bolster my numbers. So, Nidoran here is going to be named... Gato. Which is French for cake. Now, now why would I name the Nidoran after French cake? I don't know. Certainly no reason for that. So, uh, first off, I don't know how that guy got here from a passage from Cerulean, but uh, we'll question that more a bit later. Turns out you're the only person on Earth hindered by ledges. <laughs> Everyone else can just climb up them because they're, like, waist high. Otaru just sees that and gasps in shock. Alright, and also, by the way, if you didn't notice, those little uh, dark squiggles right there that I got the uh, prism berry from, those usually indicate that there's a hidden item, so if you see that, then just investigate it. 
So we also have a man right here, and our uh, money comes up in the corner because he wants to sell you a magic harp. I'm not gonna buy it. No. No. <laughs> Magikarp, of course, is infamous for basically being useless up to a point. So, yeah. It's, you can catch one later, you don't need to buy one. That guy's actually a lot more useful in Pokemon Let's Go because they don't have fishing. So you can't get a Magikarp until you get Surf. But if you buy one from him, then you can have a Gyarados pretty quickly. Yeah, I guess that would be the one advantage here if you want to power level a Magikarp through this next area, but uh, I wouldn't suggest it because coming up is Mount Moon. Oh boy. Before we go, here's a summary of Gateau. Gateau is adamant, which is attack up, special defense, or special attack rather, down. So, uh, pretty good. Again, for my purposes, I prefer defense anyway, and I'm thinking that Gato is actually going to have a lot of uh, physical moves anyway, so works out perfectly. Next time on Fire Red, Mount Moon. Oh no. <laughs>